Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Techno DBA. This channel is created for DBAs to gain the knowledge and learn to perform day to day activities. So in today's video, we are going to discuss about Snowflake database, its introduction and architecture. So in 2021 and 2022, Snowflake is a very hot database in uh, DBA's market or database market. Everybody want to learn it and make use of it. So we will just discuss about introduction and architecture of the database. So basically what is Snowflake? Snowflake is a software as a service. It's powered by advanced data platforms. Okay. So basically it's a software as a service. Okay. And it's provided by Snowflake company. So Snowflake company was founded in July uh, 12, 2012 and it was launched in uh, this uh, October 14, okay, basically October 2014. So Snowflake uh, enables data storage, processing and analytical, analytical solutions that are faster, easier to use and far more flexible than our traditional offerings such as our Oracle or any other uh, traditional database we can see. So Snowflake is a true software as a service. Why it's true software as a service? Because there is a no hardware to select, install, configure or manage. You don't need to in select anything, you don't need to install anything or you don't need to configure or manage anything uh, as a part of hardware. And there is a virtually there is a no software to install, configure, or manage for you. So it's basically provided by Snowflake itself. And whatever maintenance, patching, upgrades, tuning is all is handled by Snowflake itself. So basically, it's a true software as a service. So you can just go ahead and use it. So that's it. And I think one of the drawback is it only runs on this cloud infrastructure not on our on-premise or hosted uh, infrastructure. So you cannot run, run it on private cloud. Okay. Uh, now jumping to this uh, Snowflake architecture. Uh, this is uh, the uh, pictorial representation of uh, Snowflake uh, database architecture. So it consists of uh, three layers, database storage, query processing and cloud services. So we'll go through one by one. Okay. So what is a snowflake architecture? Basically, it's hybrid. It's, it's combination of traditional shared disk and shared nothing architecture. So what is the shared nothing architecture is? In this uh, cloud company or cloud infrastructure, we have number of nodes. So each node is independent of other node and different nodes are interconnected by network. Every node is having its own processor, memory and disk. Here, nodes do not share memory or storage. That's why it is ca called as shared nothing architecture. Okay. This Snowflake uses a central data repository for a persisted data that is accessible from all the compute nodes in uh, network and the, uh, in the Snowflake uh, network. Okay. Snowflake architecture consists of three layers, uh, that is uh, database uh, storage, query processing and cloud services. We will go through one by one. First we will go to this uh, database uh, storage. Okay. Uh, whenever we load data in uh, Snowflake, Snowflake uh, reorganization, reorganizes the data into its internal optimized compressed and columnar format. Snowflake stores this optimized data in cloud storage. So basically, basically what we load is stored in a cloud storage. Okay. Snowflake manages all aspects of how this data is stored. The organization, file, the structure, compression, metadata, statistics and other aspects of data are handled by Snowflake itself. So uh, moving to next layer, that is a query processing. Uh, query execution is carried out in this uh, layer of uh, 
snowflake architecture and the query processes using query is getting processed by using virtual warehouse so there are number of warehouse uh, at this query processing layer so so basically what virtual warehouse is it's cluster of uh, compute resources in uh, snowflake so you can say this uh, uh, runtime environment as well okay and uh, uh, moving to next uh, layer of the architecture uh, this is cloud service so this layer provides or uh, this layer is a collection of services that coordinate activities across the snowflake so you can see these are the kind of background processes or background service for uh, snowflake which uh, runs the uh, runs uh, snowflake these services tie together all the different components of snowflake in order to process user request from login to query dispatch it means it performs it uh, takes care of all the processes end to end and start to end okay and services managed by these cloud service layer is authentication infrastructure management metadata management query parsing and optimization and access control so basically this is a snowflake architecture in short so you can visualize this in front of you theoretical so there are number number of virtual warehouses at query processing layer and then this uh, database uh, storage layer where, where uh, this is a cloud storage you can see and data is stored stored in cloud storage and these are different uh, cloud services uh, under cloud service layer so it has security optimizer um, metadata manager authentication and access control so this is all about uh, snowflake architecture I will come up with more topics on snowflakes in uh, uh, coming videos. So keep eye on this space. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.